Hey, this is Seth, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings for this light switch right here on the right from Top Greener. If you have a light switch like this in your house or in your building, and you're not sure how to change the settings, maybe you want it to stay on for longer or behave differently in some way, it's really pretty easy to do once you know how to do it. And uh, if you just bought this thing, you should have instructions right in the box. But sometimes I find videos like this are just a little bit more helpful to see someone do it. So first of all, we gotta take this whole thing off because in order to open up the panel where we can change the settings, we have to remove this thing so we can then open it up. So I'm gonna quick remove this plate and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or some kind of a similar looking instrument because we have to put it back here and kind of pry it open a little bit from one or both sides. So I'm gonna try it from one side first, see if it works for me. There we go, okay, so that wasn't too hard. So once we do that, we can see the controls and see what it's gonna let us do. I'm gonna quick bring the camera a little bit closer just so it's easier to see. Okay, so on the left, we have the time delay knob. This is how long the light is going to stay on after it stops sensing motion. And by default, it's only gonna stay on for 15 seconds. This is test mode, and this is when the knob is turned all the way to the left. And I believe that's how these things come from the factory, at least that's how this one came. But uh, if you want it to stay on longer, it can stay on for any length of time between 15 seconds up to 30 minutes. All you have to do is just turn this knob however far you want it to go. I'm gonna have mine stay on for just a couple minutes, nothing fancy, so I'm gonna quick do that here. And in order to do this, you're gonna need some kind of a tiny instrument, like a small flathead screwdriver, like what I've got here. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how many seconds that's going to be, if it's exactly two minutes, but it'll be somewhere around there. Okay, so next up is the range dial, which is what you see right there in the center. And the detection range knob is the sensor sensitivity. By default, that's going to be centered right at 65%, and it's adjustable from 30% if you turn it all the way to the left to position 1, all the way up to 100% if you turn it all the way to the right at position 4. So what are we getting at here? Really, the idea is if you have a larger room with more space in it and you want this to be able to sense a person or whatever motion is happening further away from the light switch then you would want to crank that sensitivity all the way up to position four at a hundred percent but if it's a tiny room like the one i'm in here which is just a small bathroom it could be all the way down to 30 percent if you wanted to and frankly what i think this is really getting at is say if this was in like a hallway where there's a lot of ongoing motion on a regular basis and if you don't necessarily want that motion to trigger this light to come on, that's when you would want to turn it all the way to the left. But if you want literally any motion of any kind to trigger this thing, turn it all the way to the right, whether it's near or far. So I want this thing to be highly sensitive because I don't know why I wouldn't want the thing to be on. So I'm going to turn mine all the way to the right, but it's up to you to do whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's all set. And then lastly, the knob on the far right is the light level knob or the ambient light level. So a lot of these motion sensor light switches can sense how much ambient light is in the room. So for example, if I had a window in this bathroom and I don't necessarily want the lights to turn on in the middle of the day when I already have enough ambient light coming in from outside. This knob will adjust the amount of ambient light you want in the room before it's triggered. So if you want this light to turn on even when the room is bright as day but it senses some motion, you would turn this all the way to the right at position four. And if you don't want this to turn on when there's any amount of light, you would turn this all the way to the left at position one. And this is something that you may have have to come back and revisit because depending on what time of the day it is when you're doing this and how much ambient light there might be when you're doing it you may just have to play around with it a little bit until you get the right levels and just speaking for myself again I'm in a bathroom and this room has no windows of any kind and there's also not any windows anywhere near it so when the lights go out this thing is pitch black no matter what time of the day it is. So this light switch will come turned all the way to the right at position four. So I'm just gonna leave mine turned all the way to the right because I'm fine with where it is and I'm pretty much done. But if I did have some ambient light in here, I would just have to turn this thing to the left and uh, figure out what the right position is. But again, I'm just gonna leave mine where it's at. And then once you're finished here, you just take this thing and put it right back where it was and you are done. So I'll go ahead and put my plate back on. 
So, you know, again, as you can see, if you want to turn the thing on or off or just leave it at auto, it's very easy for anyone to mess with that. However, any of the other fine-tuned settings that we just went over are gonna be kind of difficult to get to. Not impossible, but kind of a hassle, and most people probably won't even know how to open this thing if they don't watch the video that you just saw. So, that's all. Hope you found this helpful, and wish you all the best. Talk to you next time.